Hello, 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 and welcome back to another video on Explained. I have been uh, away for a couple of days. Uh, I have been a little bit busy since we have uh, been uh, locked back down um, in New Zealand. We have uh, a couple new cases here in Auckland, uh, as you may have seen from the news. Uh, but I am alright, I was a little bit sick, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't from COVID. Uh, but I am uh, all well all well now, and uh, I'm back to film another flight here on Explained. Uh, and as you can see, today we are uh, sitting in uh, Manchester in the UK. And today we are going to be flying from uh, Manchester to, uh, if I can find the name of that airport, uh, Tenerife uh, in Spain. Flight time today is going to be around... 4 hours and 20 minutes we are carrying 125 passengers and 6.4 tons of cargo with 14.9 uh, tons of fuel uh, fuel should be loaded in by now I believe uh, by looking at that it seems like it is done uh, we are sitting at gate 49 today so let's uh, jump into the cockpit and have a look and we can finalize the uh, flight data and uh, we should be good to go so uh, our takeoff center of gravity is 11.9 so if I put that to there and we get 7.5 on our trim so let's go 7.5 that is probably the furthest nose up trim I've ever done so um, I'm not sure how it's going to go Hopefully it's alright. Uh, V2 is 155. So we have rotated 145. Uh, ah, sorry, I mean V1 at 145, rotate at 147, V2 at 155. Uh, we have altitude constraint, uh, which is as mean at uh, 5000. So we have 5000 set. We may climb a little bit earlier. Uh, depending on uh, how close we are from uh, Asmin. Uh, by the looks of that, we may stay at 5000 or we may continue to climb. Um, depends. We have uh, 25 passengers left, so let's go ahead and uh, call our pushback tuck. And we should be good to turn this on. Uh, we have fuel on the center tank, so I'll turn that on as well. And we can turn on the APU. Uh, turn on the seat belt as well, since we have already completed the refill. And uh, everything else looks good. Our departure time is um, 14.30 today, so we have about 5 minutes to go. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. And uh, I've just uh, figured out why the better pushback sometimes uses the default sound, and sometimes it uses uh, a different sound. Uh, the, I mean the sound from the sound pack. 
Uh, so basically, it's I think it's like random or it could be geographic. So I'm not sure, but uh, when I was flying in like the states, it usually switched to the American or the Southwest. So I'm not sure whether it's uh, geographically based or if it's uh, just like randomized. Checked. Okay, we are nearly done. Five passengers to go. APU is available. Switch over to the APU. And we can turn uh, pump the hydraulics as well. Can shut the ground power unit. Can close the door for the cargo. Uh, we should be able to arm the lights now. All right, gates are uh, going off. All right, uh, doors close and uh, pop break off. So this is the latest uh, Zebo version. I cannot remember which version this is. Uh, 3.43. Uh, that's the uh, latest one that was uh, released. I believe yesterday. I am not sure if I'm 100%. Could be the day before. Packs off. Start the clock. Right, clear, right. Let's uh, start number two. And we have um, dark pressure. So let's go to ground. Uh, start valve is now opened. And I've actually forgot to update the sound pack. So this is the default sound pack. Uh, in my previous videos, you may hear the um, the custom sound pack. That's what I'm trying to say. So we have N2, EGT, N1, fuel flow, oil pressure. Uh, right, looks good. All right, start off cut off, and we should be clear left. Start number one. So I've, uh, oh, I was about to say uh, I've actually updated the the um, the cloud texture. Uh, it's a sort of I'm not sure if it, it's a plugin, I believe. So. Um, we'll see how the clouds are for this flight if there's any clouds uh, i can't really see it from here from the uh, plugin list so i'm not sure if it's actually working hopefully it is If I just look over here. Yeah, I mean it shows that it is running, so it should be. Yeah, that's the one. Enhance uh, Cloudscapes. So it seems like it is running. Alright, ground crew is going off. And uh, we have two good engines, switch over to the bust. Uh, 
off, off, on, on. Oh, I think one of our door is still open. Hold on. Uh, where is the door? That's the one. I don't know why that one. It has. Uh, this is the second time that happened to me. But uh, yeah, not sure why that door opened. All right. Okay. Continuous and APU off. Window and prop hit. And everything else looks good. All right. Uh, rather checked. Full left, full right. Breaks off, and we are uh, good to go. Clear right and clear left. Should have done that before we um, bring the engine up, but we are good. There is no traffic and no people running around. Alright, uh, 05 left. You just basically taxi all the way to the end and that will be 05 left. Clear left, clear right. I'm not even sure if the weather is updated. I'll just uh, refresh my Sim Toolkit Pro just in case because sometimes it does play up. And I think I'm a little bit fast. Um, sorry if the engine sounds is a little bit low. I just forgot to uh, turn up the sounds. That should be all right over there. I hope so. Because through my speakers is actually really loud, but somehow uh, from the recording it's not that loud. May have to uh, turn it up a little bit from the OBS. Alright, get ready for our departure before takeoff check. List uh, configuration flaps 5, trim 7.5, and uh, we should be informing our cabin crew once we finish crossing here. Flaps 5 green light trim takeoff briefing cabin MCP we have LNAV 5000 runway heading and uh, B2 speeds of 155 and course of uh, 052 Transponder to TRA. Strobe light is on and landing lights will be coming on once we get to the runway. Everything else is looking good. Uh, what's the runway length? Runway length is 10,000 feet so we should be good.
Alright, switching over to the captain's side, turn on the terrain radar. Alright, cabin is secure. And as per usual, I will be uh, putting my mic down for the takeoff. And uh, I'll come back to you once we get closer to Tenerife. And uh, I'll probably do an approach brief if there's any. Uh, otherwise, I will probably talk to you all a little bit closer to Tenerife, maybe like on the finals or somewhere close to the final. And um, yeah, we'll see if there's anything to brief. But otherwise, enjoy the takeoff out of uh, Manchester, and I'll uh, talk to you all a little bit later. Approaching zero five left. On runway zero five left.
already we are approaching Tenerife as you can see we are just uh, passing through flight level 180 and uh, continue our descent uh, Tenerife is um, I believe is this one so I have already set everything up uh, we have the IDF which is uh, 317 I'm not sure if it's actually working uh, it should be pointing that way so I'm not sure why it's uh, pointing the other way and then we have uh, our iOS 1090.7 uh, course is uh, 076 Alright, we are just a little bit fast. Oh, it's actually over there. It's on my bed. Uh, not that, not the islands over here. It's the one over there. Uh, we are nearly passing 10,000, so let's uh, continue descent. Uh, let's put the seat belts down, turn on the lights. Uh, and we should be slowing down Alright, I'll just uh, throw in a little bit of speed brake just to help us uh, slow down. Alright, descent checklist pressure we have 200 feet. Uh, NTI is not required approach brief. We, when we go around, we will climb back to uh, flat level 100 and uh, hold overhead um, Tenerife. Uh, I believe that's the um, the name of the ADF uh, IAS and altitude. So we have uh, go around, well, not go around, uh, go around is 10, uh, flat level 100, and uh, we are landing at flat 30, flat um, speed 146. So we have calculated wind is pretty strong at uh, 20 knots, but over here it's very light, so I'm not sure if it's uh, there's going to be wind shift. But according to here, performance, we have uh, BRF 30 plus 10, so we have 156. Uh, using auto brake one is sufficient. We have the 10,000 foot uh, runway, uh, and we have four tons of fuel, so that should be sufficient. Uh, we have already done the approach um, frequencies and course, so we are good. Start switches, engine. Not, not start switches, the uh, engine switches, the recall and uh, switch over to 1018 Alright, I will uh, come off the um, sim speed We are getting a bit close now so. Speed break arm. We are 16 miles out, so we still have a little bit of time. I 
I may start slowing down very soon. That's a good go. Check. So we have to be 2,500 there. So we have 2,500 set. And assuming we have uh, clearance to land. Alright, wind is actually picking up. And we have uh, some crosswind actually. Go. Check. So the airport should be over there. All right, we have a uh, wind shift again. I think it's because of the terrain uh, over there. All right, our speed is getting a little low, so need to uh, bring in the uh, truss just to get us back to speed. As we start the final turn, we will um, bring in the uh, flaps. Our speed is good right now, so flaps one. Right now we have uh, left crosswind at 1.8 knots. We are still a little far, so we can um, delay our flaps, holding at 2,500 feet. 2,500. Checked. Alright, localizer is alive. And we can arm localizer. Volok Alright, once we are stable, our arm approach Approach is armed We have um, Black Slope alive Flaps 2 And Flaps 5 And we can go gear down once we capture the glide slope. Actually, go flaps 10. Alright, gear down. Flaps 15. Flaps 25 Flaps 30 Alright, get down, triggering Auto brake wand, flaps, dirty green light and landing lights are on. Cabin crew has been advised they should be taking their seats now. Alright. And now take manual control of the um, trust. And I have control.
I'm trying to align my HUD with the runway, so bear with me as uh, this is not easy. It just doesn't want that dot just doesn't want to go to the runway, so it's a little bit difficult to do this. Uh, I'll see if I can. Uh, that's good enough. Alright, as per usual, I'll be putting my mic down for the landing. And uh, I'll come back to you once we are on the ground. Approaching zero eight. Welcome to Tenerife. That landing was actually pretty good. I was uh, very satisfied. Um, I don't think I've done a better landing for... I haven't done that good of a landing for a while. So uh, that was um, yeah, really good. Let's uh, find where we are going to park. I think the terminal is uh, further down over there. So let's uh, continue taxi down that way. APU is available. Take the one uh, on gate number two. That should be all right. Now I'm not sure where the marking is. Should be 
Oh, I can't see. Is it this one? Maybe. I feel like we are on the wrong one. Um, let's uh, see where this goes. Oh, is it going to bring us down to the gate? I think so. Alright, I think this is... Uh, I think this is right. Okay. Uh, let's switch over to the APU. And uh, I'll shut off engine number two. a bit off but that's all right okay there we go pop brake gone and uh, engines off Ten percent uh, anti collision lights can come off. Oh, forgot to turn off the lights. Alright, the offloading is going to be very quick. Um, so self-loading cargo apparently updated to uh, make the um, offloading very quick. So it should only take about a minute. Uh, our shutdown checks are pretty much done. So there's nothing much for us to do now. Uh, we'll just maybe take a tour of the airport. So this is the Tenerife Airport. I think this scenery is uh, pretty outdated, if I can remember correctly. Um, I think this is built at least a few years ago. I mean, uh, the scenery in the explain that is. So um, hopefully someone will update this airport. But I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I mean there's like auto gates and um, everything else looks pretty alright. I mean for a freeway uh, it's actually very good in comparison to you know other sceneries. And I think we have some buildings over there. And I'm going to try out uh, Microsoft Flight Sim, which is releasing in two days. 
So uh, I'm not sure what to expect. I've seen a lot of videos. So I mean, in terms of the overall scenery, it's probably going to be a lot better than explained. But the um, flight characteristics it might not be as uh, good as explained. So we will just have to see. I'm just reading my flight report from self-loading cargo. We get a B. Uh, landing rate is minus 238. Uh, so yeah. I mean that's not too bad. Uh, let's go to the replay and uh, have a look at our landing. Oh, all the airports just uh, disappeared over there. A little bit closer to the airport. Maybe uh, turn the volume down a little. And the airport has disappeared, unfortunately. Oh, there we go, it's uh, slowly coming back. Is it? Is it back yet? Oh yeah, it is. All right, uh, let's kill the music and uh, let's uh, let's watch this uh, replay. So we got a, a little bit of uh, left crosswind, so I'm not sure why the aircraft actually goes to the left, it should be on the right, and uh, the nose should be facing the left. But yeah, I was uh, correcting that at the very end, so we don't really have much of a crabbing going on. Uh, and that flare... I think it was pretty good. I mean, we have floated a little bit there, but I think it, overall it's actually pretty good. And we are off center line a little bit over there. Not very rough. It's probably really good for Ryan Air standards. trying to get the passenger view but um, I think I forgot to kill the passenger view so we just have to look from the cockpit I'll try to uh, run to the back here see if we can get the oh we have to open the door can we open the door uh, unfortunately not uh, sorry um, I've just updated this to the uh, to the new version, so I suppose the keys um, for the views have been changed or removed, so I can't get that uh, passenger view. Uh, let's see what else can we get. Uh, oh, that's very weird. Not sure what way we can get. Maybe this one. Uh, 
Alright, uh, if you have made it this far, thank you very, very much for watching. Um, I would appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this uh, flight. That will be very much appreciated. If you have any questions, any suggestions, any feedback, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I do read every one of the comments and if you have any questions um, or any, if you need any help, I'll try my best to uh, help you out, but um, I, mean, I don't know all the questions or all the answers, not the questions. Um, well, I also don't know all the questions, so uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. I'm sure there will be someone that might be able to help you out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe. Um, I do post videos once or twice a week, um, so yeah, feel free to uh, subscribe and press 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 the bell notification button, uh, and that will notify you when I post a video. I don't really have a schedule, so um, yeah, if you don't want to miss out my videos, just press those too and um, you will get a notification when I upload a new video um, if you are into reviews uh, for like travel stuff so basically like um, airlines hotels and uh, basically travel stuff uh, go check out my um, travel blog or travel review website uh, it's called not another travel uh, the link is uh, not another dot travel you can um, find that on the description on uh, on the bottom or on the end screen and you can see my discord over here on the bottom left corner uh, if you would like to um, join my discord it's uh, about aviation and flight sim so if you want to um, chat with me uh, build a community um, yeah go join my discord the link is uh, on the bottom left corner and if you are financially stable and you appreciate my work uh, this is well i guess 50 percent of uh, what i do uh, i do do other stuff like my website my blog and uh, i am writing a book as well so uh, yeah if you feel generous and you would like to support me to continue doing uh, great like same content then uh, yeah feel free to subscribe to my patreons the link is going to be on the description and on the end screen so uh, yeah, go check it out when I have a few people over there then I will start putting better perks or more perks and uh, right now there is like early access and stuff but there is no one there yet so uh, once I get a few people there I'll start posting there first and then I'll upload to YouTube but yeah I think that's about it um, yeah there is uh, nothing else more for me to say this is the end of the flight uh, yeah and again thank you very very much for watching and um, let's see if we can get another shot of um, Tenerife I mean obviously this is not Microsoft Ooh, I don't know why we are spinning here um, I'm saying this is not Microsoft flight like, sim quality for the um, scenery but I uh, hope you still enjoy this uh, beautiful, well, sort of sunset-ish um, view over here at uh, Tenerife. But yeah, um, I will leave you all here in uh, Tenerife and I will see you all in the next video.